I've told you what to do, ban them for life. My thing would be, fail, fail for steroids, officially you've took steroids, you've injected needles, ban them for life. Ban them for life. No ifs or buts, you fail for performance enhancing drugs, you're banned for life. It seems to be people saying to you, and this is also towards also Eddie Hearn as well, that it's one, it seems to be one rule for one and one rule for another. If anybody fails a drug test, for performance enhancing drugs, they've been injecting steroids, ban them for life. I don't care who it is. I don't want to go on about Billy Joe, I just feel for him. I know I know the kind of person Billy Joe is. He's a good lad, he's one of the boys, and let me tell you, mate, cheating just wouldn't be in his yet. It's just it's just wrong, mate. He's been given something and it's wrong. It's wrong. And he must be furious as well. He must be furious because you're tarnishing the lad's name and it's just not him. It's just not in. I see what's happening, and I don't like it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Arthur better be of destroyed, absolutely annihilated Callum Smith last night. Now, everybody doesn't seem to be excited. <clears throat> UK. The British boxing fans and now british boxing personalities have taken this fight and suffered the loss with callum smith and now they're all of a sudden accusing arter better be of of being on someone being on something arter better be of beat callum smith by vicious knockout he just like pulverized him i didn't have him losing a single round that clip you heard at the beginning was Tony Bellew, and it's to highlight a extreme bias that you are seeing. Tony Bellew, if you listen to the early clips, various it's a compilation of various interviews where Tony Bellew was saying, if you cheat, if you are on PEDs, ban them for life. And at one of them, during one of them, the reporter says, what about the people that say, Tony Bellew, you and Eddie Hearn are picking and choosing and are biased and you have rules for some guys, but not rules for the other. Tony Bellew said, I've never done that. He said he hasn't done that. And if you fail for PEDs, you should be banned for life. No questions asked. He doesn't care who it is. The very final clip. And again, if you need to listen to this again, rewind this track and picture me rolling. If you need to listen again, just rewind the video. But the final clip snippet from Tony Bellew was saying that he feels for Billy Joe Saunders and Billy Joe Saunders has been dealt a bad hand and that Billy Joe Saunders has been wrong. And it's, he feels bad because Billy Joe Saunders, his reputation is now being tarnished for something he didn't do. But the fact of the matter is in the fight with Demetrius Andrade, he failed for a banned substance and the best he could come up with was that he was taking some kind of flow nays or nasal medicine that is why he failed for the banned substance so tony bell you didn't keep it 100 he said he doesn't pick and choose if you fail you should be banned no other questions but then for a fellow uk guy he has an exemption for a fellow uk guy he has a pass for someone he knows he's like oh no he couldn't do that now fast forward to the future you have connor ben who said he ate too many eggs that's why he failed two drug tests right his fight with chris eubank jr got canceled as a result of it and i don't believe tony bell you out was outspoken when it comes to that now he's accusing and insinuating arthur better be of of cheating for more on that stay tuned to the end of the video subscribe to the channel if you got any value from this video i will be back after a word from our sponsor to wrap this up and you're not gonna like it you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. 
Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work. And we're back. Tony Bellew says on his social media X profile, Tony Bellew says, Arter better be if he's a beast and a fighter who is getting stronger as he gets older, which is hard to believe, but he is. Save that thought. Callum, as brave as anything, a soldier who went there and gave it everything, faced that monster in his backyard, so frustrated because I want to say more. And then he put angry faces boxing. So why don't you say more? You already said that, and you're basically insinuating that Better Beav has gotten stronger with age. But the reality is, we all know that's cap. That's cap. Because Arter Better Beav, throughout his career, has been hurting guys. So it's not like he was this light puncher and everybody could walk, like he was Pauli Malinaji, and then everyone could walk through his punches no problem. And then now he's facing bigger guys and all of a sudden he's hurting them. Like if anything, like if we're if we're gonna be real, let's just be real, let's, let's be all the way real. You have Canelo Alvarez, who some consider the face of boxing. Canelo Alvarez at 154 pounds, he wasn't necessarily hurting and stopping every single person. He couldn't hurt or stop Floyd Mayweather at 152. But then he's moved up, right? And then he's taken on bigger guys and he's hurting some of these bigger guys, like guys who are naturally bigger than him, Jermail Charlo, Caleb Plant, etc. Even Callum Smith, who also fought Canelo Alvarez. But that's a whole separate subject. But back to what Tony Bellew is saying, Better Beav is, he's like a haggler where he's campaigning in the same division. So it's not like he moved up or moved down. So there's no, there's no issues with a guy like like i said canelo he started at a lower weight class and then he's progressively moved up and his powers moved up same thing with manny pacquiao right these guys are moving up better be if has hurt guys in this weight class and has remained in this weight class and he continues to do such so this is very poor from tony bellew because you're basically insinuating that there's more you want to say and you can't say it I don't know why you can't say it like it's a Elon Musk ran app X freedom of speech. Why not say it? You've already insinuated that better be of is getting stronger. And again, if you know boxing, you know, that's cap better be of turned pro. I believe in 2013 and he was hurting guys. I did videos and I in my better breathe better be of breakdown tongue twister versus Callum Smith last night. I even showed you in that video, so make sure you check that out. But I showed you in that particular video that better be of, I was making videos eight, nine years ago, and the dates and the timestamps can be found in that video. So nine years ago, I was talking about how better be of was an animal and how he was strong and he was knocking out guys like Tavoris Cloud, right? So this is not new. He, he literally, him, Wilder, Gervonta Davis, David Benavidez, there's certain guys in boxing, everyone they face, they pretty much hurt in some capacity or got the stoppage or dropped them or hurt them or rematched them and came back and hurt them. You know, that's just the reality. Some guys just got cracks. So this is just sad from the UK that when one of their boys go up for the fight, they say all this hype about how these British boxers are this and that. And then when they come up mad short, you have these consolation prizes. I don't hand out on my channel participation trophies. He's saying he's basically accusing better be of a being a cheat. And he's then bigging up Callum Smith. Oh, Callum is as brave as anything. A soldier who went there and gave everything faced a monster. I put out a tweet a while ago and it was about this very same subject. We have in boxing, not everybody, but there's a lot of people who have this thing where they overly credit the loser for having a chin or having heart or being tough. Oh, this guy is so tough. I'm so impressed. But then they take a dump on the actual winner of the contest and act like it's nothing to continue to win. Like this man better be of got 20 fights with 20 knockouts 
as of champion, he's the only other guy with a 100% knockout ratio with this type of resume. Yes, Virgil Ortiz, he has a knockout ratio of 100%, but he hasn't faced the competition in his division that Better Be of has fought. And he's not a champion. And he's been very inactive, more so than Better Be of. So why are we crediting the losers more than we're giving props to the winners? The man like Better Be of that keeps getting it done keeps hurting guys keeps finding a way to win we're not giving them credit but you want to give your fellow uk get bang you know your, your fellow uk guy you want to give him all these props for fighting in someone's backyard yeah he got slept in someone's backyard too right he goes on to say obviously we want to see bevo better be of next it's a great fight but please show me a fighter who has gotten stronger with age he's 39 years old and i think he's 38 going to be 39 and he's getting more destructive physically that's not usually possible but he's doing it our great sport needs looking at like baseball was so he's basically insinuating similar to mark mcguire barry bonds era you know jose canseco and sammy sosa he's he's basically insinuating without saying it that something is amiss and he keeps this narrative going that better be of is just getting stronger with age hasn't it dawned on you that better be if it's just a great fighter and he he's learning like that's not a possibility that you can't just get better from more years of experience he's been dropped before in fights maybe that taught him i think it was uh callum johnson dropped him right maybe these things have taught him something like okay because look at like let's say david benavidez david benavidez got dropped by ron gavril and nobody's been dropping him more recently so maybe he's just coming into his own and learning more learning more about his style and also growing in confidence why does it have to be something is a mist and you're making it sound like he's not always been powerful which is cap i've seen videos from the amateurs where better be of hurt Usyk, who is a great fighter and doing very well for himself as a pro so we're we're gonna 2024 we're not gonna do this and we're gonna put our foot down and it's funny because the uk has like connor bins and billy joe saunders and dilly and white there's always an excuse from the british press and british fighters as to why these guys are failing but then you're gonna pretty much insinuate that better be of is juicy you can't make this stuff up for more boxing news, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue cooking and putting out videos just like this. Congrats again to Arthur Better Beev. Don't be a hater all your life and just give credit where credit's due. Peace.